Ivan. It's been nearly a decade since we first met. I noticed you on campus probably an entire year before you had any idea of who I was. I can't put into words how excited I was when I saw you in Carrington Hall on the first day of nursing school because it meant that I finally had an excuse to talk to you. We soon spent nearly every day together. People often ask why I came to North Carolina and for a long time, I couldn't exactly pinpoint a reason. But the more I reflect on that question, the clearer the answer becomes. I came here because I was destined to meet you. Sometimes I wonder if I'm dreaming Or maybe caught up in a trance Don't even recognize the feeling that I got When we were walking hand in hand The moment I first held Yvonne in my hand, I knew she would always be my baby and the joy of my life. And she now has grown into a confident, beautiful, intelligent, and a beloved woman. <clears throat> yeah, sorry. Yeah. Now you found me, darling. You bound me. I could never break away. You're my secret. I'm gonna keep it forever. I will stay. I want you to be, I want you to be, I want you to be my every day. Andrew's always been a beacon of hope, dedication, motivation, and light in our family. I always looked up to him, and he always pushed me outside my circle, always pushed me to be the best person I could be. Yvonne, since you entered his life, I've seen you done the exact same thing he did to me for himself. You've pushed him outside of his comfort zone, you've challenged him where he maybe had doubt, and for that, we, as a family and as a whole, I, we thank you. Because he could not achieve greatness if he wasn't as great as the person beside him. You looked at me, looking at you, and there was nothing we could do to stop the moment from sweeping us up. I think I won everything you got. You threw your line and I was caught. I'm never, ever gonna give you up. Andrew, you came into my life at exactly the wrong time. I had fallen for you so quickly, giddy about how easy and natural it was to and felt it to be with you. But it was our senior year and graduation was around the corner, which meant you were moving home. I honestly thought the distance would be the demise of our relationship, but you refused to let bad timing define us. And despite an uncertain future, you moved to North Carolina anyway. You believed in our love and chose us above all else. I promise to always keep that initial spark alive. Most of all, I promise to love you with all my heart and to make sure that you know that each and every day. To the lowest of valleys. They know that together they can always make it through. I want you to be, I want you to be, I want you to be my every day. I have always been yours long before today. I promise to be your best friend, your number one fan, and to bring you solace when the days are dark. I love you more than words can say, and I can't wait to see where life takes us next. But most of all, I can't wait to experience it with you. God, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew and Yvonne, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Andrew, you may kiss your bride. Just like sunrise, you said a scene turning my gray skies blue. 
Just like Everyone give it up one more time for Mr. and Mrs. Jimenez. Just want to thank so many of you. So many people traveled such great distances to be here, and it just shows how special Andrew and Yvonne are to all of us. And we are very happy to have you in our family. Thank God for this beautiful celebration of love. I don't want anyone else, cause I know there's not anyone else that makes me feel the way you do. It's easy to prove I don't want My best friend of 18 years. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's starting. <laughs> I'm just really proud to see my brother marry the woman that he loves. Andrew Yvonne, you guys are absolutely perfect. Like literally, it's unfair. <laughs> um, but um, I'm so happy for you and there's no other couple more deserving of a beautiful wedding like this. Cheers! <laughs>